man, was I wrong on these stocks. Last week, I made a video talking about breakfast stocks, how they were breaking out, names like Kellogg's and uh, General Mills and, and JM Smuckers, and how I thought that they were bullishly tilted, and last week we had a big smackdown. Now, I'm bringing this up for a couple of reasons. First of all, a little bit of mea culpa. I'm going to show you guys the charts um, so you kind of have, have a little bit of perspective on this. First of all, a little bit of mea culpa. Obviously, <laughs> we all get it wrong sometimes. In fact, if we get it wrong right 60% of the time, we're doing pretty damn good. Um, so that's number one. Number two, the reason I'm bringing it up is because when you look at bear markets, historically speaking, and I think we we have a pretty serious one at hand here, um, ultimately they go for everything. So whether it's in this case consumer staple stocks like Kellogg's or, 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 or General Mills, um, even transportation stocks, guys, look at transportation stocks. The IYT last week down another 5% really uh, faltering uh, here. Uh, obviously, the big ones, we talked about the, the generals here, down apples another 6.5% last week. Uh, and, of course, we all know that uh, Tesla has been uh, uh, down uh, and last week down about 13.7%. So uh, the thing is, in a bear market, it's really difficult to hide anywhere. At this point, the best hiding has been in the U.S. dollar cash, which is something that so many people poo-pooed over the years, over the past years, uh, rightly so at the time, but now it's actually been the greatest hedge you could possibly think of. So, you know, as we get into this week, we are going to have earnings from companies like NVIDIA and, um, and a bunch of other companies and just kind of keep that, oops, that's a wrong ticker, and just, just kind of keep that in mind that in, in true bear markets, which I do think this is one of those, there's really no place to hide.